Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're doing a topic that I somehow haven't touched on yet and I don't know why and that is the most common things that people say in a piercing studio. Oopsie, I accidentally said tattoo. Before we get into the video, I would like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor and that is Skillshare. If you've been here for a while now, you would know that Skillshare is an online learning community and I have been using it for about a year now. My journey with Skillshare has gone from like classes that were specifically tailored to like I wanted to learn skills to now like I'm also doing a lot of self-care classes. I found it really valuable and I've learned a lot in my time using Skillshare. The class that I'm currently doing is low budget filmmaking tips and tricks for an indie look. So the main reason that I am wanting to do this particular class is because I'm going overseas for the first time in year, 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 years. And I really want to make some cool travel videos. Please let me know if you'd be interested in seeing them. Normally I always like making travel videos for myself and my friends and whoever I've gone with, but I would really like to try and do something a little bit more than just like what I normally do and make it a little bit more like artsy, a bit more filmmaker-esque. And this class has really given me some really good tools in order to do that. Skillshare is giving the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link below a one month free trial to Skillshare. Thank you so much Skillshare. Now let's get into the video. So I just like to put this out here at the beginning I promise, I really promise, you may not believe me. I am not trying to be a huge bitch. I'm just trying to say this is funny. It's meant to be a funny, lighthearted video about how annoyed I am. I'm sure a lot of people out there would understand, like no matter what your job is, especially in customer facing roles, there are just some questions or some things that you hear so damn often that it makes me want to chop my damn head off. Let's just get into some of the things that really annoy me that I have to hear over and over and over again. So one of the first ones, which might be a completely obvious one is, is it going to hurt? Ah, <sighs> la la la, Ooh. I couldn't tell you if it is or it isn't. Every single person in the world got different pain tolerance. Now I know there's like obviously not too much variation like, if a piercing is going to hurt on most people, it's going to hurt on the person who is asking me. But at the same time, the thing that annoys me with this question is like, there's kind of no point in asking it. There's a needle being shoved through your body. What do you think? I would just say, yes, I'm pretty blunt these days. When I initially fart <laughs> farted, when I initially, <laughs> the first time I farted, the when I initially started piercing, I was super caring, loved talking people through it. But when you've heard that question nine billion times, it gets pretty freaking irritating. Like, honestly, I don't get as frustrated if it's like sort of like a consultation before and someone's asking questions about certain piercings. That's not as irritating as when they're in the clinic, they're ready to get pierced. What is me telling you yes or no going to do at this point? I mean, I get it. I get that people are scared, but do you want me to just lie to you? I know some people will be like, no, it's not, it's beautiful. That's just not me. Because if you tell them, no, nah, it's good, it's not gonna hurt. Sometimes people are more likely to like freak out and move because they're like, fuck, that really hurts. And it's like, yeah, it's a piercing. Maybe ask before, prep yourself and just be like, all right, this is gonna hurt, I can do this. Basically, I just tell people it's, quick pain. It'll be over very quickly. In saying all of this, I always think it's best to do research beforehand so you can sort of find out what it is like to get that particular piercing. There's a lot on the internet that talks about pain scales for different areas, but again, it can't be completely accurate for every single person. So hard to say, honestly. It's like I'll answer people, but it's just something that you just get very sick of hearing over and over and over again. Another one is, can you numb it? And a lot of the time someone has come in to get the piercing and it's their appointment and they're wanting you to numb it then and there. Numbing doesn't work like that. You need to have put that numbing on for an hour beforehand. So basically getting in the studio, it's too late. Unless you ask this question before your appointment or you ask this when you're booking the appointment, 
We love that. That is a totally fine time to ask this question because we can explain the numbing to you and you can do it yourself. You've got the time to do it beforehand. Whereas if someone were to like say walk in for a piercing, we can't numb it then. Piercings aren't something that you're gonna sit around for an hour prepping beforehand. Whereas something like a tattoo, some tattoo artists may not be ready to go as soon as you get there. So they may be able to put the numbing cream on for you. Again, that's not everyone, but honestly, it's possible to do all these things without numbing. Just at least ask the question an hour before before you're going to get pierced because if you're in there ready to go the answer is no and it's more so annoying because people then like freak out and they're like oh it needs to be numbed and sort of like try and convince you to numb it and it's like it's not gonna work though a lot of the time it's once you're fully set up ready to go um just don't do it then do it do it prior and we'll be happy to help you with your numbing not everywhere will numb for you there's a lot I can go into as to why a lot of places won't numb, um, but we can like advise you of what you can get and you can numb it yourself. That's like a whole other video about numbing. Another super common thing, you'll explain the aftercare instructions to them that it's sterile saline solution that you clean it with. And they'll go, oh, I just clean it with isopropyl alcohol. <sighs> oh my. And you're like, no, you need to clean it with sterile saline solution. And they'll be like, oh, I've done it with all my other piercings. It's fine. I can't even explain to you the amount of times that I've had this conversation with someone that that is not what to do. Or they're cleaning it with like some sort of like ear care solution that was bought from like when they got their ears pierced with a gun. And like half the time it's from like fucking... 10 years ago as well you're like absolutely don't do that and you tell them that either of these things can cause a whole lot of issues and in fact like prolong if not like stop your piercing from healing going on from that specific like sentence we hear all the time uh people also love to tell you about the piercings they've done themselves now it really confuses me why people would think that a trained piercer would want to hear about all these piercings that you do at home, real nasty, real unsanitary, really incorrectly, and we're, what, going to be super impressed? So many people go, oh, I pierced this myself and this and this and this and this and this. And it's like, okay, I actually think you're an idiot. I don't know what you want me to say about this. Like, oh, cool. It's really cool. Do you want to come work here? Like, I'll get you a job today because like, you've done three piercings on yourself. Like, honestly, unless someone at your studio does a piercing that like is just never done, you're generally rarely impressed by anyone. It's like, okay, it's another one of those piercings. Okay, okay, I've seen that piercing 900 times. Okay, yep, I've done those too. Why would we be impressed by you doing piercings at home? Don't give a shit. Apparently, Everyone wants to tell us about the piercings they've done themselves. Oh, another one that just kills me is can my friends watch? Why does your friend need to watch? This is such a quick process and all your friend coming in here is doing is prolonging the process, getting in the way, being annoying, giggling, laughing. And oh, another one that people ask as well is can my friend film or they just film anyway and do not ask you. The friend in the piercing clinic is like, honestly, the fucking devil. Some piercers are down to have the friend in there. And if that is what you like, then go to one of those piercers because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want you. But I will tell you over COVID, piercers were fucking thriving. They were so happy when studios were allowed to be opened in and out of lockdowns. During that time, you couldn't bring another person in. We love that. We don't want you. Go away. Not to mention the piercer has a duty of care over the person getting pierced, not the other person. But technically, because they are in that premises, you do kind of have the duty of care over them. So it's like another person to watch when you should be paying entirely full. <laughs> oh, that sentence made no sense. Attention to the person who's getting pierced. If you want a good piercing and you want your piercer focused, don't bring your annoying fucking friend in. Just don't do it. Your piercer wants to focus on you. This should be 
your time. This should be your piercing that is perfect. Not having an annoying friend who potentially some of them faint. Honestly, I've heard stories of people who've had friends in there and they've fainted. What if you're in the middle of a piercing and then you have to attend to this person who's fainted? What if your client then faints? It's not a good setup and it shouldn't be like that. And that's why these safety measures are in place. And some people just sort of like twist the measures to go, yeah, okay, like you can come in. Or some studios like are just like, it's fine. It really just depends. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys don't think I'm the biggest bitch, but if you do, I'm sorry. That's just who I am, I suppose. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like down below and subscribe if you're new here and I'll be back very soon. Bye.